Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to The Light Show. I'm Ann Blackwood, your Silicon Valley stage sister, here to bring consciousness to the forefront of your daily life to make life a little kinder and simpler. Now, we have a tendency as human beings to when we have gotten so deep down into what some call the dark night of the soul, the pits of despair, whatever you want to call it, when we have become so laden with mental distress, trauma, or mental illness, sometimes we can end up being literally confused to the point where our wires are so crossed that we think that help is harmful and harm is helpful. And there is no part of us that is trying to harm ourselves. It's that we quite literally get confused to the point where we think that doing the harmful thing is what's helpful to us, is what's protecting us. And what would be the helpful thing is actually what would harm us. And this can be really, really difficult to go through. And it can be really, really, really difficult to deal with when it comes to somebody else, especially when it comes to having someone else like this in your life. And trust me, boy, do I know, not only have I had to step away from several friends who ended up in this position, but I've had clients like this. And all we can do for them, because anything that's actually a solution is something they're gonna push away, all we can do for them is either love them as they are, set the solutions aside, and just wait until they are ready and sometimes we do have to walk away. It, it can be really painful. I mean, trust me, especially as somebody whose life's purpose, as far as what I'm meant to be doing on this earth for the things outside of myself, that's to help other people through the healing that I've done within myself. So I know how hard it can be for many different reasons to walk away from somebody. But the thing is, is that if that person is hurting you, or if you are getting hurt because you're around that person, then you have to take care of yourself first. You cannot keep spending time with that person, no matter how much you want to, no matter how much you think you can help them. They're just not going to be ready for help and they are going to continue lashing out at you. So you have to protect yourself first. And then sometimes when they are ready or they have healed, then they can, then they can come back into your life. But sometimes we just have to let them go for life. I know. I know how hard it can be. And I know how hard it can be to be someone who's doing it to yourself. Because sometimes you're so deep that you don't even know it, but sometimes people who are going through this do know. There's that little part of them that they can still hear their intuition and they know what would actually be helpful, but their learned instincts are so loud in comparison to their intuition that they overpower it or smother it out. And so, even despite the fact that deep down they know what would be good for them, they end up doing the opposite because that part of them that's their bad learned instincts, it, it, it's like a more muscular <laughs> version of yourself that can, you know, wrestle yourself into doing anything, thinks that it's protecting you, but it is a part of you. So, especially when we're going through this much sadness, when we've been through this much trauma to give us this much sadness, we have to be kind with ourselves. Or if it's someone else, you have to just find the most compassionate, loving way to either 
be around them without offering solutions or just not be around them at all. And eventually, eventually, most find their way, little step at a time, towards some healing, and, and then can finally wrap their heads around actually doing what would be helpful to them. But it takes time. Addicts are a great example of people who go through knowing what would actually be best for them. Well, actually, addicts are, are a great example of both. <laughs> and so you just, you always want to know what kind of person, if you're going to try to stick around, if you're going to try to help, you've got to know which you're dealing with. Are you dealing with somebody who knows, little bit of them knows what is actually going to help them? Or are you dealing with somebody who is just so deep in the darkness that they can't tell left from right, up from down, and are totally, totally wires crossed, confused. And if, if you can figure that out, because often we can make assumptions. I saw this video today where this person was talking about how 90% of the people who share their trauma on the internet are just doing it for attention. And it's like, well, as the guy <laughs> who was responding to the video pointed out, 100% of people who are posting on the internet, period, are doing it for attention. Even I'm technically doing it for attention, you know, even though I'm doing it to want to help people, the only way I can help people is to get their attention. <laughs> so semantically, but that said, you know, there will be people in desperate, desperate pain who are crying out desperately for help. And again, yeah, they need attention because they need love, because they're hurt. But doing it just for attention? No one's doing anything just for attention. And more often than not, those people who seem like they are, it is because they can't see what is actually helpful and what isn't. So be kind, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. And if you do find that yourself in this position, whether it be you that actually needs the help or you're with somebody, friend, loved one, relative, they need help. Just be kind and, and at least figure out whether or not there's that little part of them that knows what would actually be helpful. Or if they're just so deep down in the dark that any amount of help would seem harmful. And you'll be able to tell because they'll consistently be doing things that seem like self-sabotage or seem like harm to themselves. And you've got to just realize that some part of them, possibly a large part of them, thinks that that harm to self is actually what's protecting them, is actually what's helping them. All right, guys, thank you for joining me for another video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. If you're really ready to heal, grow, and expand your consciousness, I would love to help you with that. I have three different ways, four different ways, in which you can connect with me about my one-on-one -on -one holistic health sessions. There is my email for general questions. There is my free clarity call, which I will be retiring after these spots are filled. I have my Patreon where my enlightening membership tier of Patreon comes with a once a month session 
with me as well as everything Patreon has to offer and the Voxer direct messaging so we can connect between sessions. I also have four session packages available through the link in the description. That includes a one month, four session down payment commitment and then you can pay per session after that. I also have a three month and six month session package and I even have a six month uh, payment plan package split into two payments. They all come with their own little fun extras, including custom made oil blends made by me, custom for you, for whatever you want. And my six month pay in full session package comes with your very own custom made mountain bound book, blank journal. That includes the sessions with my very lovely business partner, Jess, to custom make it. And as always, apart from the other links in the description, may the energies you serve, serve you well. And let's keep making our way through. I am, so I know you can too.